compared to I don't know. I felt the. I understand like people being super excited about Taker Brock, and and I was super shocked by it. No, no, it's awesome. I do just I. It was a really boring match. Mm-hmm. It was a super mm-hmm. boring match for being a guy that was there. Like it was, the crowd was totally out of it. They weren't even popping for like Taker's I think, offense. I think the crowd was just tired. I, because at that no, point they had been there four hours. No, I, well, they, let's take the let's crowd, take this to, but, to let's take this to Amon since he was there. Um, I mean, at, at that point, the feeling from us watching it, at least in the in the, in the crew that we were, um, was that it felt like you guys had a lot going on, and even by maybe even the scene. There match, was a lot going on. I also just felt like the they were going at half speed, and I think the crowd could really tell. And when they would cheer at times, it almost was like a sympathy cheer. Like they were very much like, "This is Taker, and this is you know." So we should and, be excited for this. Mm-hmm. And that's it, why when the Brent Brock gets the win, I don't think it's because – I don't think the shock on people's faces was because Brock got the win. It was because it was so just basic and so boring was, to when he, when he pinned him. It felt like a near fall, and they was just trying mm-hmm. to shock us. And then everyone was just like, wait, really? Like this is what's happening? And like, they really played I, that up with the – they didn't play music. They didn't do anything. Right, so while. it felt it felt false, like it felt yeah. like it was a mistake. Yeah, and, and my friend, my friend uh, Justin was like, "That was that's not what happened, right? That has to be wrong. They made a mistake, right?" And then they put twenty one and one up, and I'm like, "Yeah," and then real. everyone was like, "What the fuck is happening?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, but that's it, what they were going for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely. Uh, I just no, but I think the crowd was legitimately just zonked out because of how bad a match it was, uh, and and not too be like oh that match was shitty blah 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 i think it was a talking good match about streak and like should brock have ended it because you know why are you putting this guy over or whatever i think it was a perfect place to end the streak because taker is really on his end mm-hmm. like he really is honest and i we couldn't i couldn't tell from like how it was presented really on the show and obviously we had Does like this- had a lot of follow up on the Taker side of it, but the way I see it, the way they ended everything, that very much could have been Taker's last match. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. They had everyone, everyone, the announcers, and everyone was standing up clapping Taker after the match. That very much could have been his last match. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And does this the con- way does he was moving in the ring, him? the way he was performing, I don't, I don't think that's a far, you know. Yeah, that's very likely. I think. I I feel like the last three years he's ended up in the hospital after WrestleMania. Yeah, Yeah. like I feel like that's been the story every year, and and I think no, not last year, not last year. No, 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 he kept wrestling after last year. Last year he kicked Phil in the head and said, "Fuck you, I'm winning this." Yeah, yeah, (laughs) that that was not that was not the deal last year. No, he stayed stayed for a while after too and wrestled a couple matches. Yeah, he wrestled yeah. the Shield uh, yeah. in two weeks, and then he wrestled Dean Ambrose on SmackDown of all places. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why I think that match had a lot to do with, first of all, Brock's style, because Brock is a more methodical guy as opposed to like a CM Punk or like a Triple H who's more Smash Mouth. 